uh, 911 circuits. We met these guys at GFX in San Antonio uh, in 2017, and you can see here we have a CH27.1M. It's a 27 circuit. Um, I guess you want to call it a distribution box, and it's uh, it's weather tight. They provide a little harness or a, excuse me, a little diagram. And what we've done here is we've got some pegboard. And what we are doing is we have it we have it set up on here and then we have a spot for all of our like this is where our MDC goes. We've got some relays, the modem, and our Z3. And you can see here this is like a kind of a guide for us of where the wiring will go. And you can see these angles here and and this is set up to, to match our trunk tray that we install this equipment on. This is for a, an Explorer. Uh, so this is um, vehicle specific wiring harnesses that it comes with. See they all disconnect. It's got the breaker here. And what we do is we lay it out and you can see we have a couple of uh, quick disconnects that we're adding. Um, that one is for the remote start that we have on the vehicle. Um, then we have the Ford upfitter switches or connections. And this will allow us to pull in power just by simply plug and play versus you know going to the battery and having it go through the firewall. And we have our horn ring gun interlock. Um, so anyway, in the next videos, you're going to see how we uh, we cut the harnesses to the the length, splice together, and kind of clean it up. Okay, we're back, and what we're looking at now is this is the finished product on the pegboard. Um, as you can see here, Alex, he's got the uh, Z3 wired up. He's got a couple of the relays, a bus bar. He's got everything routed for the uh, MDC. Uh, these are spare wires over here. We've added this, uh, whatever you want to call it, sheathing to the wires. We have the route of the wires laid out here so that we can help get our length. This is for the radio. It goes on top of our equipment tray. Again, we've added the, uh, the sheathing to cover the bundle of wires that came through here. Gives it a nice clean look. All the way down to the end, and you can see we've got everything separated. We've got our upfitter switches, our remote start, plug and play, another Ford upfitter, and a gun interlock relay. Anyway, that's it. So now at this point, we're ready to uh, transition uh, to the equipment tray, and that's what we'll be doing uh, next. Once it's on the equipment tray, we can hand that over to our builder. Uh, everything is pre-installed and wired, um, and all he has to do is plug in these fittings. A um, couple of these he has to, like these are for, um, uh, this is for the monitor power, so uh, a couple of these are spares and, and some of them uh, the upfitter will actually use, like when he connects the light bar, for instance, but that's it. So the next step is to look at our equipment. So this is an aluminum template that Alex made and if we get close you can see the holes. These holes represent the pattern of where we want everything uh, lined up. This came right off that uh, pegboard that you saw. And then what he's done is he's laid it on the Havis trunk tray, which we have here. Um, this goes right above the spare tire. We don't actually pull the spare tires or use them in case of a flat. Um, there, we just leave them in there for structural reasons. And you can see he's drilled all the holes and he's got bolts coming up from the bottom with nuts on them. And then it allows us to attach. Here we have the uh, MDC, we, we can attach it secure it and uh, the next video we'll show is everything in place and the wire uh, bundled up. Okay so this is our final pro product here this is on the Havis equipment tray and you can see we have all the, the IT equipment uh, bolted down we have the bus bar the relays uh, we have the 911 circuits box on there we have a, uh, a lug for the the ground uh, and then we have the, the wire harness. And what we'll do is we'll just spool that up and put it right here on top of the, uh, the tray. And we hand the whole tray to our builder uh, and it allows us control over all the wiring. And it's easy for him because it's just plug and play.